What's up, guys? What? If you find a girl, hands up, hanging halfway out on the highway, you find a girl, likes whiskey, mixed in a hangover coffee, find a girl that scares you half to death, you kill to be the train she wrecks, and don't tell her, I never met someone like you. <laughs> And try to turn into every girl you ever knew. If you're gonna love her, if you're gonna love her, if you're gonna love her, live her. Ah, got it. All right, we're learning how to do both at the same time. What's up, everybody? So, for the very first time, we are doing live on YouTube and Instagram at the exact same time. This has been our Sunday brunch show. We've done um, our Sunday, every Sunday brunch called Live While Sunday Brunch. And lots of people climb on in this chat, just hang out. Yeah, you can turn it off. I think it good. All right, so our goal today is we are going to make Pickle pizza. I know that it's a. I don't know where uh, to look. Where do we look? Both. I know it's a very sad and uh, terrible time outside for a billion different reasons. Um, and we were not going to do our show today um, because of all that, because of everything going on outside, uh, literally inside of our house, uh, outside of our house. But we decided that we could use a smile today and something to get our, you know, at least just even just for like maybe 30 minutes. And people, for the most part, like pickles and Everybody likes pizza, so we're like, why don't we just make pickle pizza with a bunch of people from home? By the way, when Tyler told me he was going to make pickle pizza, I thought the idea was terrible. I thought I was going to not like it at all. And let me tell you, it's pretty damn good. Knocked my socks off. Pretty damn good. But so the way we usually start this is with a section called What's Good, which is um, some good and inspiring stories of so what sorry. is good and going on. Um, in the world today that is inspiring and uplifting. Um, but before that, if you're going to be making pizza, preheat your oven right now to 450 degrees, 450 degrees, so that you can make this pizza at the same time as us. All right, Sabina, for our section of co that's called, uh, what's up, Nicholas? This is my wife. This is Sabina. Um, Hi, Nicholas. For our what's good, our inspiring news section. You want to tell the first story? You're going to okay. like it. You're going to like it a lot. In Easton, Massachusetts, a 103-year-old Polish girl, Jenna Stenia, beat coronavirus and celebrated with a cold Bud Light. The feisty old Polish grandmother of ours, or Babcia in Polish, officially beat the coronavirus. I can't imagine how scary it would be for her and her entire family knowing someone of her age caught such a devastating virus to our elderly. So 103, uh, now picture yourself, imagine your 103 year old grandma comes down with coronavirus, which is so devastating to our elderly community, terrified. And then your grandma is such a savage that she's like, I'm gonna beat this shit. And I'm gonna drink a Bud Light at 103 years old when it's over. I, mean, I love it. I, I love I'll, it. I'll be honest. I feel like that's gonna, hopefully that's me at 103. Ripping, I, I think, ripping Bud Lights. I think it's gonna be. All right, so Thanks. story number two. Simon Cowell, we all know him from American Idol, all those shows, donated $32,000 to close a dog meat farm in South Korea. Now, as you know, we are such huge ad advocates for rescue animals and dogs. And if you'd like to follow along with all the stuff we're doing with rescue animals, uh, it is called Rich Rescues. And it's a lot of fun if you like cute furry things that are uh, finding homes. Can we put the iPad higher? It's got a lot of ceiling. If, if we go higher, then it's um like so it feels like I want to see people more a little bit, right? I've already I've, I've already been going back and forth with oh. options. Ah, uh, okay. Right. Yeah, I think that's a little bit. That's exactly the same. Okay. Um, story number three, which we all got to see yesterday, which is amazing, is that America for the very first time in nine. Nine years sent two astronauts to space for the first time in nine years from American soil. Uh, a lot of people. Doug were, and Bob. 
Doug and Bob. A lot of people were confused by that as we have uh, astronauts up at the space station all the time, but they've been hitching rides uh, from Russia since uh, NASA funding and stuff for all that was um, removed, taken away, discounted, whatever you want to call it. But we're back in space from American soil. I'm a huge baby. It made me cry a little bit when I was watching it. I got um, to ride too. It was also kind of funny because SpaceX, it looked like they were flying a Tesla up into uh, the sky. Anyone else like that their names are Bob and Doug? I personally Is love it that it was Bob and Doug. I'm, mm, I'm second guessing. It was Bob and Doug. It was Bob and Doug. Bob and Doug. Bob and Doug. Bob and Doug are awesome. Um, but anyways, all right, cool. So, um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just laughing. At you. Where'd my phone go? I need it. Over here. All right. So for this part, before we get to the pizza making, actually, you know what? Let's do the pizza making, and then I'm going to do this next part. Okay. So the first step to a pickle pizza, you got to get your dough. Mm -hmm. Your oven should be almost at 450 degrees now. Um, give me give me thumbs up and hearts if you're ready. Give me thumbs up and hearts if you're joining us to make pickle pizza or if you're just watching us make pickle pizza because equally equal things are fun. Equally you're learning. E equally, you know, you're maybe maybe you're prepping a pickle pizza for next week, you know. Who knows? Um, I said pickle pizza and somebody came to the party. Everybody, this is Abby. This is Abby. Um she just got groomed. Where's the spatula go? I just had it. Where'd it go? You don't need a spatula. Just spread the. I'm probably going to show these angles. I feel like the duo. Okay. Get your dough. Uh, is it really choppy sound? I see two people have said that now. Oh, no. Choppy sound? How are we doing? Everybody? Somebody? All right. So, you're gonna to wanna to get white garlic sauce. Choppy, it's good. A couple people saying choppy, a couple people saying it's fine. Make sure, cleanse that off. All right, so you got your dough, you got your white garlic sauce. Now, you could do this, just hold it up so you, you could do this. Well, how, you didn't you like gotta hold it up like it? a prize, it's just gonna like, no, it's just, gonna no, fall. No, it's not gonna fall, it's fine. I don't think you can use white pasta sauce because I think it's too runny. Um, but white pizza sauce, I'm not really sure what the difference in the ingredients is. That looks I made the white garlic sauce sounds last time. Ridiculous. Um Ty did make it last time. I made it last time. I didn't really know what to expect. Um for anyone that's an actual chef, we apologize. I'm sure it was offensive to you. Uh so everybody at home, the way I like to do this right here is uh I like to give it a nice um yeah, I know it's cheating, Melissa. I'm sorry, but here's the deal is that I made it last time from scratch. And this time, just like any other cooking show, because this one's super official and professional. It's very professional. You can pre-make the stuff because who's got time? I can't make it right here, right now, right? It's just like, you know, prep the sauce. Um, all right. Um, I'm seeing in the comment section. I think I'd like a cocktail. That if you... Are experiencing bad sound if you leave and come back apparently it's fixed um let me get a cocktail well you spread your sauce everyone knows what that looks like i'd love to know your sauce spreading technique how are you guys at home getting full coverage because i like to hit it with a nice clockwise mixed with a little counter every time i see uh, some uh some stuff start to pop together and and pile right um who doesn't love a screw top efficient gets to the point She's not wrong. All right. Wow. Want to give it a lick? Mm. Just give it a lick. It's going to taste that's a, weird. That's, not a, that's a tongue dab. Rose, rose. Give it a lick. How is it? Mm. It's pretty good. Tasty. Yours was better, but it is good. All right. Now, I'm going to make my version of the pizza. And then when this is over, I'm going to make Sabina's because. Let's be real. Mine's going to be better. So That's an insane com comment to make. Mine's going to be better. Um, all right. What are you getting next? So, Wait, what's next? All right. Bacon. 
prosciutto, ham, veggie bacon. Um, uh, that beeping, 450, we're almost ready. All right. I love that. Clockwise from the inside towards the outside, Drake says. I love that we have a similar spreading technique, Drake. I'm going to pretend that's the Drake, if you know what I'm saying. All right. Um, so now you're going to get your bacon, your prosciutto. This is optional. I feel like we should be showing this. I wish we would show this. Oh, oh. A lot of people aren't going to be using the bacon because they want a vegetarian option. Which is totally fine. Um, the first one I made was vegetarian, so I'm, I'm trying this one out. We are using turkey bacon. Um, we, by we, he. Yeah, by we, I mean me. I don't know why I said we. That's okay. Well, we are we. I am we. That's a weird thing to say. Uh, I'm going to lift this up and show you guys in one second what it looks like. All right, so nice, full even coverage, right? Looks good. Just real, real nice. All right. Now the best part. By the way, cooking is tricky to do on camera. Anyone else feel that way? I don't know. I feel like it's time for a break. So. No, no, no. Are we at the, are we at the proper step? That's no, it? I just wanted a beer break. Oh, I thought you, okay. All right. So now the goal here is you want dill pickle. You don't want sweet. But what I got, because I like spicy, I got spicy pickles. They're not, oh shit, these are sweet. Nah, nobody likes sweet. I like sweet pickles. I got regular. Abby is all in the mix here. What are y'all you, you doing? Well, shit, what are y'all doing? All right. So now you want to put a layer of pickles. What I would do is... You know, shake them off a little bit because you don't want too much of the moisture. No, you don't want the moisture. Nobody likes a soggy pizza. Uh, yeah, so you don't want the soggy pizza. So, so I hope somebody's doing this at home with us. And this, <laughs> the good news is, I'm going to post this up for 24 hours on Instagram, maybe forever. We'll find out. Uh, and this is on YouTube Live right now. Do you hold it? Let me cook. This is. A, oh, oh, look at our other our other dog came. This is. Let me tell you. Let me explain to you guys. We have a second husky in the house. His name is Max. Okay. Let me show Max real quick. We have a problem. <laughs> Somehow, I messed up with the shopping. So, I only have bread and butter pickles. Can we just help talk about Max for one second? This is Everybody, Max. Everybody, this is Max. This is our this is our new rescue project. We're bringing him back back to life. He looks amazing. He's fifteen. Okay, so I messed up, and I. Thought we had regular dill at the house. We only have bread and butter. So the pizza is going to be a little sweet this time, which is fine. What do you mean we have dill in here? No. We need yeah. a fresh dill, though. We have a fresh dill, though? We need that fresh dill, though. We didn't get it? Like we don't have it at all? No. Mm, what about the not fresh dill? Is that? Well, I'm going to eat this one anyways. We can get pickles for the, for the other pizza. It's all good. Why explain to our friends why fresh dill and not just the jar of dill? Because I I don't know the difference, and I have fresh dill is seasoning. What? Okay, so your pizza at this point should dill look in the jar. Pizza at this point should look like this. Okay, dough, white sauce, <laughs> dough, white sauce, bacon, prosciutto, whatever, and then pickles. Now. The best part. What are you puppies doing in here? This is our, we are running a show. Fresh dill. Yeah, my, yeah. My mom saw. Ty said we need fresh dildo. What? You said we need fresh dildo. So we need fresh dildo. Sounds different. Let me say it fast. All right. So now you want to put cheese. Your first layer. Right? Can I do the cheese? Let me, you can do the cheese. Because I'm making it too, and I'm, I'm just standing here. You can be my demo. I can be the demonstrator this time around. All right. So mozzarella cheese. You can do it with as much pizzazz. Look at that. Pizza pizzazz. That, look at that. Is, well, you don't want to get it on the pan. Yeah, it's, it's going to burn. Nobody likes that. But you know what we'll do? Swap it off onto the floor for the pups. For the pups. 
So what you can't see right now is the dogs are eating ahead of time. They're eating before us. Well, this is good for them. Is this good? This is a good amount. And look at this. While we're at it, if you have dogs around, maybe do a little in that direction. Who knows? Depends what your style is. All right. So we got our cheese. Now we're going to put more pickles. More pickles? Because you know what? This let is a pickle show, pizza. Let me show. We got to show. You didn't put nearly enough cheese. Well, I didn't know because you've not let it. You not. You have to let. You have to demonstrate. You have to say, hold full it. coverage of cheese. Yeah, yeah. See, hold it. We're just gonna put more on top. Okay. See, Tyler is a pizza expert. I'm just the assistant. You have to tell me. I'm like your assistant in real life, so just constantly doing stuff for you. <laughs> Sweet. You're my pizza assistant, and then I'm just like your get shit done assistant. No, you're just All more right. efficient than I am. It's a, quite a nice thing. It's just it's not really an assistant. It's more of like you guys are cute, but the pizza looks gross. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're putting more cheese on top. <laughs> the only thing I'm a little worried about this pizza is that I could have sworn we had a whole jar of actual just dill dill in there. Where we actually had sure? bread and butter, and so it is going to be. There's some up there we could cut for the next one, but we're doing the next one off camera anyway, so it doesn't matter. I can cut it. Um. Okay. So oh, now, oh, what I'm doing space. is pushing everything off to the side. So this is ready. We don't want it to. We don't want it to burn on the edges. So if you've got dogs, sweep it off to the sweep ground. Sweep it off. This is ready. This is a pickle pickle pizza. Um. And now it is going, it's going in. So at 450 degrees, we're gonna let it cook for 10 minutes. A lot of activity near our toes. Two dogs, guitar. Okay. Now, while that's cooking for 10 minutes, we're gonna talk about some music. We're gonna talk about some, some of the country charts right now. Um, Talking about how good is beer, right? I mean. Ready to rock and roll, as they say. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, Abby, it's a lot. You know, you've got a big bod. You've got a big bod and you're in my space. Is it, did I bring it up too early? For nine minutes. Set a timer for nine minutes. Your timer is set for nine minutes. Change the British man. I like to say. So we always talk about the country charts, country radio charts. Um, at number three this week is Lee Bryce and Carly Pierce. With oh, this song makes me so happy. I love this song. I'm going to sing it too. But that's okay with everyone. Hope you, I hope you I It's new, especially because we're doing YouTube right now, live for the first time. Yeah, we've never done this. Sorry, Sab we're Sabina's not a singer. She just sings with her heart yeah. for fun. It's up for debate. Um, it's the first time I've ever done dual lives. It's cool. It's a little stressful. It's a little... There's a lot going on, so it's, it's kind of... a lot happening, especially when we're cooking, and especially when there's dogs that are toast trying to eat cheese. So the layer, the layer of things are challenging, but we'll learn we're learning. We're learning. All right, so coming in at number two, which one is, this is super exciting for me because this is my homie. Mr. Travis standing with After A Few. And after a few drinks, always the same thing. Find yourself lost conversation in the bar. 
Then after a few songs, kind of you hold on. Find ourselves leaning up against my car. Just stop that one. Say goodbye, giving up that too. They don't want to wind up falling in my bed like we always do. After a few, oh yeah. All right, <laughs> coming in at the number one spot this week for the second week in a row. Um, I've been doing a songwriter series as well on Instagram uh, with a lot of my lives where I bring in songwriters and they tell the stories of the hits they wrote. And uh, a few weeks ago, I had my friend Ray Fulcher on and he wrote this song um, with Luke Holmes and they ended up getting Eric Church to duet on it with Luke, which is absolutely awesome. What a cool full circle moment. Congrats to Ray, Luke, and everybody that's part of the song on a two-week number one. Uh, freaking awesome. Some say I'm a middle of the road. Not much to show. Underachieving every show. I'm a hell of a lover. Damn good brother. Wear my heart on my sleeve. That might not seem much to you, but it does to me. Yeah, cool. Awesome. So that's the country charts this week. As it says, Lever Wild Sunday Brunch. And I never play Lever Wild on the brunch. Oh, yes, baby. You said we again. Should we do it? You found a girl. Hands up. Halfway out on the highway. You found a girl. Next whiskey, mixed in a hangover coffee. Found a girl escape, she had to bed. Kill the beat, train she wrecks. Don't tell her, never met someone like you. Try to turn her into every girl you ever knew. So if you're gonna love her, if you're gonna love her, if you're gonna love her, leave a while. Gonna make her if you're gonna make her make her smile, smile. You're gonna let her if you're gonna let her let her dance, let her sing, let her be whatever she wanna be. Leave a while. Tame her, try to chain her. The second you do, you'll break her. No, that shine caught you your eye Cause you're afraid somebody will take her She ain't a dial, just turn on now She ain't all found But she ain't all that lost If you're gonna love her, if you're gonna love her If you're gonna love her, leave her wild You're gonna make her, if you're gonna make her, make her smile Smile Gonna let her if you're gonna let her, let her dance, let her sing, let her be whatever she wanna be. Leave a while, leave a while. Why? Yeah. If you're gonna kiss her, if you're gonna kiss her, kiss her slow. You wanna change her, if you wanna change her, let her go. You're gonna let her, if you're gonna let her, let her dance, let her sing, let her be whatever she wanna be. Said so if you're gonna love her, if you're gonna love her, leave her. Wow! You're gonna make her. Gonna make me make her smile, smile. Gonna let her rip, you gonna let her let her dance, let her sing, let her be whatever she wanna be. Leave a while, say leave a while, leave a while, while. Mm, leave a while. Let her dance, let her sing, let her be whatever she wanna be. And if you're gonna love her, if you're gonna love her, leave her wild. Leave her wild. One, two, three, and one more time. 
Nope. <laughs> All right, pizza's almost done, guys. Uh, I'm being a bad. I'm being a bad um, uh, compadre. What do you call it? Like a co-host. But I'm being a bad co-host. Friend. Co-host. I'm being a bad co-host. Why? I didn't. Well, I thought everything was prepped, and I realized things weren't prepped. Like they were prepped, but like I should have known there was no dill. I should have noticed that. It's a big step. It's a pickled dill pizza, and I miss dill. Um, Sandra on Instagram says, can you please make a Lever Wild Sunday Brunch t-shirt? So that's something we're already talking about the possibility of doing. Um, if you would buy a Lever Wild, yes, leave her Wild Sunday Brunch t-shirt, yes, Arubi. throw up like a thumbs up. That'll help decide, you know, if we, uh, you know, if we end up doing Or it. a purple eggplant it means the same thing. If you're a lady, throw up a purple eggplant. I don't know. Is that weird? That was weird. Oh, that was, that was silly. I just dildo, you know. You said it. <laughs> it's a dildo. Say it quicker. Oh man, we missed. Oh, we forgot the dildo. Dildo. We forgot the dildo. Yeah. See, <laughs> so, so that's what you said. So I'm not the perv. You said it. Yeah, like a pickled pizza. Oh, we forgot the dildo. <laughs> Dill though. The dill though. I'm sure All everyone right. else heard it. Okay. Um, I think we're about like one minute out from this glorious moment of pickle pizza. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed our dual our dual stream today. And I hope that you are making it at home. And if you are, when this is over, please message me with a picture of your pizza. I want to see it. Yeah, um, we've by the way, I gotta say, I mean, I said it already, but Tyler brought up this concept. I don't like, to, I like to keep my, I like to keep my pizza, pizza, and keep the savory with the savory. He does all these weird things. He likes to put pineapples on it. Not for me. I'm a big fan of pineapple and jalapeno. He's pizza. a big fan of mixing the things that I personally think don't mix. Ah, alarm's pizza's off. Done. Pizza's ready. All right. Anyway, so like, I don't, I don't like fruit and salads. Not for me. Pickle pizza, I didn't think for me brought it out i was like i'll take i'll i'll humor you because he put a lot of heart and soul into making it, especially with making it with his own sauce i took a nibble and i was like oh okay it was delicious oh hold on keep it on the table show show the creation Ooh, oh a little hot oh, dripping of hot, a little warm hot cheese a little warm. Oh, people, All right. love, people love pineapple on pizza. Yeah, of course they do. Oof. We got one of these things, and let me tell you. It's very intense, but super effective. Incredible. It's like a guillotine. A what the? Guillotine. What? A guillotine. What's that? It's like a, I think a guillotine, like it's the, come chops down the heads like in the medieval times. Mm. Like a paper slicer. Not like a guillotine. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. They did it in the Salem, the Salem witch trials. Salem witch trials. That oh, were, they, they were hanged. No, they were hanged. They were hung. I'm sorry. I'm I think it's hanged. Hanged? Yeah, oh. I think I think they were hanged. I don't think they were hung. You're better at history than I am. The witches that were burned. That was in Eastern Europe. That was like in Czech Republic and all that mm. stuff. I think, believe in like the 1200s. Salem Witch Trial was like in the 1800s. All right. I'm going to have to in Massachusetts. Some books okay. About this. Yeah. So, anyways, guillotine, get yourself one of these. This is not a brand I endorsement. This is just metal. Um, but so, straight down the middle, you know. I wish we could, let's see. Let's show. Let's show. Check this out. Look yeah. at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I can work some angles. Look, Look at, at that this. guillotine. And you just let her. You just let it rip. <laughs> you know? Oh, so good. Well, okay, I gotta be honest. Oh, it's been cut. I'm dumb. All right, I was gonna say this usually works much better. Guillotine it the other way, baby. I'm gonna guillotine it. You put it on that thing, and it. I don't think this, this would burn the counter. Maybe. Oh. You put it on the thing that makes it. I put it. Put, cut. Yeah, it's sure I did that. I don't cook very often, so I'm still <laughs> learning my way around the kitchen. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold this iPad steady. Hello. There it is. You got it. You got it. 
it's so uneven that that thing underneath All right. it is really well, making it hard to cut. I, I gotta be honest. She put a pad underneath it to protect it. It's just, just making it hard top. to cut. Um, but I think everyone understands what's happening. The pizza's being cut. Yeah, pizza's cut, you know. I would like to take a bite and sample it on camera with you guys, but unfortunately it's been ruined with turkey bacon, so I'm gonna have some handfuls of cheese and <laughs> report back to you on how that tastes. <laughs> Um, these little animals. All right. <laughs> so we're going to let this cool for like a minute. Should we start making the, the yours? The other one? Yeah. Let me make it. Well, we're not going to do it down here. It's uh, like right now, you know, like in general. Abby, eat, eat the cheese your mom is dropping on the floor. All right. Okay. I'm going to pretend I'm taking a bite with him. Uh, it's seems, way too hot. It seems very hot. It's way too hot. We're going to wait a second. Um, All right. In the meantime, what are y'all drinking? What's everyone having? Mm. Salem was hanging and drowning. Yikes. Yeah. Love, Abby. Max right behind you. Oh, yeah. The babies. Okay. We're. Oh, Max. I think the dogs got excited about the whole bacon idea, and now they're just kind of hanging out. <laughs> the babies. <laughs> this is our babies. Okay. Tell everybody about Max real quick. That's our. So baby. Max is fifteen. He's a Samoyed husky. Oh, look at that tongue. He always sticks his tongue out. It's cute. He was about 15, 20 pounds underweight. He um, he was just in a situation where they couldn't love, give him the love he needed, and so we were like, well, quarantine's a perfect time for us to get a big old new dog like this. Um, we knew Max in the past. And we knew where he came from, and we knew that we could give him an awesome life. And so, um, he in three weeks can now he could barely walk. He's now he walks. He's actually twenty-five pounds underweight, and he was thirty pounds total, so he was half his body weight underweight. But he walks now, and he plays, and uh, he's pumped with vitamins and CBD. Um, and yeah, he's a happy boy. He's a happy boy. He's so happy. And this is oh, we already introduced Happy, right? Okay, it's time to try the pizza. I think. I hope you guys have enjoyed this pickle pizza making. Mm. Wow. This is so much better than the last one. I love to be able to How are you guys doing at home? Are you are you loving are you loving this yet? Are you trying it? I gotta go in for bite number two. See, people like people like YouTube. Maybe it's like I think it's like a clear. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out. We're gonna have to figure this out. It's a little challenging. With both not sure where to look, you know. Mm. And we've never cooked on camera before. It's so new for us too. You know what? What? I'm gonna. I think I like the sweet. Oh, I forgot. What, Bill? You didn't grab it. What? Red, red pepper flakes. I do. He told me not to get the dill. So we forgot the dill We've been talking about the dill for as soon as it comes out of the oven. Sprinkle I'm so it. So confused. You told me not to get it, so I've been trying to get it the whole time. Sprinkle it with fresh dill, so that it looks like this. Okay. See that? Kind of. <laughs> now it's, but I think. Well, okay. Can you explain? Because some people went, since I'm confused, some people went confused. This is fresh dill. So you said you forgot it or you didn't forget? That's what I've been trying to get the whole time from the cabinet. You got the cabinet. I said, will you grab the dill? I forgot to get the dill though. I forgot to grab it. Will you grab it? <sighs> I thought you went um, to the grocery store and I thought you wanted fresh dill. And I said, it's in the cabinet. I'll get it. So yeah. we have fresh dill. I think the bread and butter pickles is actually a nice touch for me as a pineapple pizza lover because it's sweet. Stop just saying. That means stop and pull this. Try it. No, I'm good. I mean, I'd like, I'd like to take a bite, but we just saturated it in turkey bacon. I'd like to have. Okay, All right. well, here's a nibble here. Looks like pregnant women's pizza.
It's good. Yeah, but I wish I had some pickle on that bite, but the pickle mm -hmm. is mixed with the jerky. I can't have it. Yeah. All right, guys, this has been a lot of fun. Thank you so much for tuning in on both channels. Thanks for watching with us, guys. We hope you enjoyed the pickle pizza. We hope you continue to enjoy it. We hope you continue to make it. And we will see you on the next Legal Wild Sunday brunch. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have the food probably prepped in a different way next time. Yeah. Because this was new for us and it's a bit challenging. Yeah. Especially with the dogs fighting at our feet for yeah. food. Yeah. All right, guys. Be safe out there. Take care. Thanks we for love you all so us, much. Guys. See ya. See you see on the flip side. Bye. Your mom said to cook the turkey bacon first.